Welcome to another episode of Money Academy, your trusted source for all things financial readiness here in U.S. AG Ryman Falls. My name is Monique Waddell, one of your personal financial readiness specialists here at Clever Discern, here to bring you some information about planning for the holidays, essentially your money during the holidays and how to help yourself throughout this season to not have what we call a financial hangover once the season is over. Again, Money Academy is meant to guide you um, and offer anecdotal, really quick tidbits on things that can help you um, within your financial readiness journey. Um, and today is no different. As I said, we're gonna be focusing a lot of attention today on making sure you have some tips on how to manage your resources well for this holiday season. So let's get started. So we have a couple of spending tips for you guys. You know, as you're thinking about spending, you know, you're going around, you're seeing displays of decorations for various holidays that people celebrate. Um, we want to give you some spending tips. First of all, it would be great if you had made a decision in January to put aside a certain amount of money every single month so that you knew exactly how much you would have to spend um, and could meet that dollar amount goal to spend for the holidays. So again, if you didn't do that this year, it is something I'd want you to consider when you're thinking about your finances in January 2025, but no worries. There is still a way to make sure that you're able to manage this holiday season, even if you haven't been setting aside money from January up until now. Um, you can potentially find a part-time job. I know that there are some organizations hiring right now because they have a desperate need for seasonal help. So I would look into potentially moonlighting. Um, you can draw names with the circle of friends and family that you have and so that you're not having to purchase gifts for every single person in your uh, community that you care a great deal about. You can collectively amongst yourselves decide to pick names so that way you're only responsible to pay for one or two gifts um, and potentially put a dollar cap on how much each person is expected to spend. Um, of course, online shopping is a very helpful thing as well. Uh, if you have those brown boxes that show up to your house regularly or to your APO box, just knowing that sometimes shopping around, comparison shopping is going to be something that's going to help you as well. Um, we understand that sometimes you do need to borrow, use your credit card, but please borrow wisely. You know, pay attention to those interest rates, pay attention to what your plan is to pay that back if you do decide to uh, take on some additional debt. Um, for this holiday season. And then if you're not able to understand that you can budget for purchases, um, sometimes <laughs> depending on um, how you, you plan your resources, you can catch some of the after holiday sales to help you plan for next year as well. So you can purchase those gifts and set those aside for gift giving throughout the year. And then understand that there might be bargains based on weather conditions, what's going on in the local community, you might be able to take advantage of some deep discounts on items that merchants are trying to um, unload for the through the holiday season. I'd also encourage you to use coupons if you have those available, discount codes online. Take a moment to research just a bit. Now, if you want a template to have a holiday spending plan, we actually like to provide this for our clients here at Clever Concern and Smith Barracks. Um, it's a holiday spend plan where you actually um, set and get clear about who the people are that you're going to actually be buying gifts for, how much you're willing to spend based on your budget, and then getting a clear idea about what is it that they're looking for. What do they actually desire, their sizes, the colors that they like, and the stores they prefer you to shop at. Once you have this information, you want to go ahead and estimate what you plan on spending. And then once you actually make that purchase, make sure you're documenting what you actually paid. Um, so that way you're clear about whether or not you're adhering to the budget that you set for yourself. You also want to make sure that those little things can add up, like those decorations to make your house a home. Um, for my family, we celebrate Christmas and Kwanzaa. So having Christmas trees, lights, those types of things are really important, but also things like having a Kanara and the various things that we use to celebrate Kwanzaa are important to our family. We know that there are people who are celebrating a variety of holidays and whatever it is that you and your family celebrate, we just hope that with the resources that you have, you're able to make it extra special for you uh, and your families. 
Again, this is the second page just to continue on. Again, it's a template that we have available for you here with an Army Community Service. Um, and just remember that the best gift that you can give your family is actually financial stability. And so sometimes it may be that you make a decision that we're not going to exchange gifts this year. We're going to go on a nice trip or maybe not as many gifts, uh, but just understanding that time of togetherness. Um, even if you're a single soldier, finding people that you, you consider to be your community and making sure that you have uh, the celebration that you desire for yourself. Again, we are uh, AC Army Community Service Financial Readiness Program here to offer all we can to ensure you are soldiers and families are financially ready for the mission. Um, if you have questions, don't hesitate to drop them below. If you have comments, we want to hear from you. Um, and then also just to kind of highlight, we do have Money Academy happening every Wednesday here at Army Community Service at Clever Concern at 12 noon every Wednesday. Give us a call. You can sign up for that class. And if you are newly coming into the area, we also actually offer a smart voucher workshop every single Friday at 1300. We look forward to working with you and helping you. Please don't hesitate to reach out to call uh, to, so that we can either work with you one on one or we can come out and talk to your unit. Just let us know. Take care and be well. Again, Monique Waddell. Bye, y'all.